We won't even talk about the independent newspapers because no one even reads them or takes them seriously anymore. I mean, you know, the Pretoria News has got a daily circulation of 1,900. Can you believe it? In the capital city of South Africa. I mean, I'm amazed that even 1,900 people read it, but there you go. The big problem is that many of the journalists sit in humanities faculties of one sort or another for three years, immersed in this woke marinade. They come out, they think that that is how the world really is. And if you read the Cape Times every day, whatever is happening in the world, they will be leading on somebody interpreting something as racist somewhere, no matter how irrelevant it is. I don't read the English-speaking media anymore. I just don't read it. I read the burger every morning, and I read rapport on a Sunday. That's what I do. And then I read international news, and I will follow some individual journalists. But for the rest, it is so trite, so superficial, so ill-informed, and so missing all the cues that I can't bother to read it anymore. And when I had really good editors like Laurie Gandal, like Ray Lowe, like Alistair Sparks, I mean, it was something to be an editor of a newspaper and you had to have some kind of broad knowledge. And they used to say, what is the trend here? Are you spotting the trend? Are you clueless? And by the time you got to write a column, you really had to know what was going on. I mean, it was the hugest honor in the world to be given a column to write. So, you know, I, uh, and sadly, the Daily Maverick also has gone completely woke. They're getting slightly better now because they're learning, go woke, you know, stay woke, go broke. It's absolutely true. And eventually you run out of other people's money. So, yeah, but um, the, I, I, I've got not a good word to say about most of the print media in South Africa, except Rapport and Die Burger. <laughs>